an opportunity to unite and inject fresh impetus in the fight to tackle global gender inequality. The chance only comes once a year, but South African-based Masminyani Women's Rights International has turned down the offer to participate. A move that's garnered support from some groups which have attended the Commission on the Status of Women. On the one hand, if you're not in policy spaces, you can't influence the outcomes. On the other hand, a really clear and strong message needs to be sent to the US government that the policies that they are enacting that are targeting some of the mar most marginalized and vulnerable women are not acceptable. President Trump's so-called travel ban has sparked protests in New York and across the US. The proposed plan, which has been temporarily blocked, would put a 90-day restriction on people entering the U.S. from six Muslim-majority nations in Africa and the Middle East. Masminyani is one of more than a dozen groups boycotting this year's CSW. And they say the decision not to come to the U.S. is an act of solidarity. We look at it uh, in the light of what happened during apartheid. And that's a very strong, visceral response for us because we were the people who were excluded, demonized, uh, you know, frowned upon in so many ways during the apartheid years. Women's advocacy groups aren't just concerned by President Trump's immigration plan. At a sidebar event just across the road from the UN, people here are also wary of his plans to cut funding to global aid programs. Any program that is supposed to benefit or improve women's lives. And if, you know, even if a cent is taken away, then that means it scales back whatever um, gains have been made. Now UN agencies may have to start preparing to manage without as much US funding. Part of President Trump's proposed budget includes deep cuts to foreign aid. The US says it's a way of making other nations pay their fair share, but many here at the UN worry that it'll hurt the world's most vulnerable people. William Denslow, CGTN, New York.